हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी इंट्रोडक्शन फॉर थियरीज ऑफ फेलियर टॉपिक नाउ फॉर आवर सिलेबस फॉर गेट एग्जामिनेशन वी हैव फाइव थियरीज ऑफ फेल्यूर फॉर आवर सिलेबस वी हैव फाइव थियरीज ऑफ फेल्यूर राइट नाउ दिस फाइव थियरीज ऑफ फेल्यूर वी हैव टू सी इन डिटेल नाउ बिफोर दिस why we are using this theories that we have to understand these theories these five theories are used for the design for static load used for used to design used to design for static load static load means whatever loads you have seen in strength of material for all these loads these theories are used for the design right means whatever loading in strength of material for all these loadings if you want to design a component then we have to use these five theories of failure right again these theories help us these theories help us to calculate equivalent load to calculate to calculate equivalent load equivalent load right what is equivalent load acting on the component as well as these theories helps us to predict suitable factor of safety to predict we can say to predict suitable factor of safety suitable factor of safety fs factor of safety fs right now before understanding five theories of failure we have to understand what is the meaning of failure we have to understand what is the meaning of failure see failure is nothing but whenever component is not satisfactorily working then it is always considered as failure right that is the material is not satisfactorily working material is not satisfactorily satisfactorily working this is called failure of that component whenever any material is not satisfactorily working then always it is considered as failure of that material right now we have to see what are the materials means if you want to see theories of failure then we have to see materials right and basically we have two types of material basically we have two types of material that is ductile materials ductile materials and brittle materials means we have to see these theories for ductile as well as brittle materials we have to see theories of failure for the design for static loading of ductile material as well as brittle material now what is the meaning of ductile material what is the meaning of ductile material failure is gradual that is gradual failure for ductile material the failure is gradual failure like like when you let us say if i consider ductile material let us say this is a ductile material rod and if i apply tensile load on this load let us say p is applied load p is applied load for this applied load can i say the length of rod let us say initial length was l let us say initial length was l right for this applied load p can i say the bar will elongate the bar will elongate and simultaneously cross section will decrease the area will decrease and length will increase and this change in length change in length which is nothing but final length minus initial length is significant is recordable is recordable or is significant having large value significant we can say or is recordable value means ductile materials elongates ductile materials elongates or ductile materials contracts for given loading if applied load is tensile they will elongate if applied load is compressive they will contract right now for brittle material if i see same for a brittle material let us say it is a brittle material and if i apply tensile load if i apply tensile load brittle material means sudden death sudden failure sudden death sudden failure that is heart attack failure brittle failure is a heart attack failure that is sudden death sudden death of a material or sudden failure of material means for this applied load the the brittle materials deform very less for this applied load there is very negligible deformation right that is change in length change in length which is nothing but final length minus initial length is negligible we can say negligible right that is brittle materials elongate very less or contract very less brittle material contract or elongate very less and suddenly there will be one crack in the brittle material for very negligible deformation there will be one crack in the brittle material and they will broke into two pieces they will broke into 
broken into two pieces into two pieces this is brittle failure right this is brittle failure now we have to understand the ductile failure as well as brittle failure hence we need to understand ductile failure as well as brittle failure now first of all we know that ductile material elongate more for tensile loading and contract more for compressive loading right now let us say if i consider ductile material i am considering here failure of ductile material failure of ductile ductile material ductile material now number 1 number 1 elastic failure for ductile material there is a elastic failure elastic failure means excessive elastic deformation it is called excessive elastic deformation elastic deformation deformation the meaning of this is the meaning of this is let us say when load is applied let us say if tensile load is applied let us say if i consider one end as fixed if i consider one end as fixed if i consider left end as fixed and if i apply tensile load then the bar will elongate the bar will elongate right now and if load on the component is removed if, let us say this is the initial position let us say this is the initial position and this is the final position final position the elastic deformation means elastic deformation is nothing but whenever load is applied on the component the component will deform and after removal of load the component will go to initial shape and size initial shape and size such type of deformation are called elastic deformation and let us say this deformation is represented by delta delta is deformation delta is deformation now if this delta is more than permissible value if this delta is more than permissible value and it is in elastic deformation range then it is considered as elastic failure of that component then it is considered as elastic failure of that component now second second plastic failure plastic failure now if load p is applied on the component and if component undergoes permanent set of deformation that is permanent plastic deformation it is also called permanent plastic deformation plastic deformation right that means if load is applied on the component the component will deform and after removal of load the component do not regain its original shape and size such type of deformation is called plastic deformation and the failure is called plastic failure therefore for ductile material there are two types of failure that is excessive elastic deformation that is more the deformation is more than permissible value or permanent state of deformation called plastic deformation these are the two modes of failure for ductile material now we will see failure of brittle material we will see failure of brittle material failure of brittle material now see brittle material deform very less for applied loading brittle material deform very less and as load goes on increasing as load goes on increasing on the brittle material let us say this is a brittle material and if this p goes on increasing goes on increasing with negligible deformation right with very small deformation let us say this is a deformation red color deformation with very negligible deformation add some load they convert into two pieces they convert or they broke into two pieces such type of failure is called rupture such type of failure is called rupture or fracture or fracture or broken into two pieces this is also called broken into two pieces therefore failure for brittle material is rupture failure for brittle material is rupture or fracture or sudden death or sudden crack or sudden death that is suddenly the component converts into two pieces right now for example for example consider the example of steel consider the example of steel if i apply load on the steel slowly 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 the deformation goes on increasing goes on increasing goes on increasing and the component undergoes plastic deformation as it is ductile material as it is ductile material therefore failure will be ductile failure consider cast iron or consider glass consider cast iron or consider glass if i apply load on cast iron or glass there is negligible deformation you cannot see the deformation and suddenly it will bro broke into number of pieces such type of failure is called rupture or fracture as it is brittle material as it is brittle material right now for example if you want to see failure examples in real life if you want to see failure examples consider a chalk piece take one chalk piece apply tensile load on the chalk piece it will fail in two pieces 
such type of failure is called brittle failure and if i want to see ductile failure if i want to see ductile failure bending of shaft bending of shaft bending of shaft let us consider let us consider if i consider one shaft let us say this is a shaft this is a shaft this is a axis of shaft axis of shaft right this shaft is supported between bearing on both end there is a bearing on both end there is a bearing right this is a bearing bearing shaft is supported on bearing and this is a shaft right this is a shaft and let us say on the shaft a device is mounted like like let us say one device is mounted on the shaft it may be a gearbox it may be a pulley or it may be a flywheel or it may be a any other device let us say it is a gear let us say it is a gear or pulley let us say it is a pulley whatever may be the device right now for this shaft due to self weight of pulley or gear due to weight of pulley or gear can i say the axis will deform like this the axis will deform like this the axis of shaft will deform like this now from initial location to final position this delta is deformation this delta is deformation delta is deformation and this deformation is not allowed for shafts when your shaft bend like this it is considered as failure of that shaft again it is a ductile failure it is a ductile failure right ductile failure if i consider buckling of column example buckling of column buckling of column right column column is nothing but vertical member under compression column is nothing but vertical member under compression let us say load on the column p is more than buckling load here p is applied load p is applied load and pe pe is buckling load pe is buckling load buckling load means the load at which column buckles the load at which column buckles means if applied load is more than or equal to buckling load then buckling starts then buckling starts whenever applied load is more than or equal to buckling load then buckling starts and buck column is nothing but vertical member under compression and buckling is nothing but vertical bending vertical bending is called buckling this is how the column is going to buckle and this buckling of column is considered as as a elastic failure or or ductile failure failure of ductile material right now from this can you can you say that whenever applied load whenever applied load on the component is more than strength of component is more than strength of component then component fails then component fails means whenever applied loads on the component exceeds the strength of component then component undergoes a failure and theories of failure establish relationship between these applied loads strength and factor of safety the theories of failure establish relationship between strength of component and loading on component by considering suitable factor of safety that is here i am writing theories of failure establish establish relationship between relation between relationship between strength of component strength of component and loading on component and loading on component or material by considering suitable factor of safety by considering by considering suitable factor of safety suitable factor of safety or also called fs right therefore here while understanding theories of failure we have to first understand the meaning of strength here while understanding failure we have to understand first the meaning of strength strength is nothing but material property strength is nothing but here the strength strength of component is nothing but it is a material property which offers resistance to the failure strength offers strength of component offers resistance to the failure resistance to the to failure right whenever whenever external forces are applied on the component the strength offers resistance for these external failure or due to strength component is not going to fail right and whenever applied loads on the component exceeds the strength then component is going to fail therefore here calculation of strength is very important and this strength calculation is done with the help of stress strain diagram 
दिस स्ट्रेंथ कैलकुलेशन इज डन विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेन डायग्राम राइट हिज वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेन डायग्राम फॉर प्रॉपर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ थियरीज ऑफ फेल्यूर थैंक यू डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल सी हाउ टू कैलकुलेट स्ट्रेंथ विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेन डायग्राम